So at this time, I'm going to introduce you to a, a, a fine young lady. And when I say that, when she comes up, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Mrs. Idelmi Marin is a senior at John McDonough 35 Senior High School. She was born in Honduras and moved to the United States during the ninth grade year. She moved rapidly out of ESL, entering Bar College and AP English classes taught by students at the center. And I'm, I'm very proud of Mr. Jim Randles, who's here with us today, and Mr. Kalamu during her 11th grade year. It has been said that the challenging and voluminous readings and numerous writings assignments in that class sped up her development in English. She is considering Columbia University, MIT, and Bard College for her undergraduate studies. She is Garafina, a proud and very proud of her heritage. She is assembling and editing a collection of writings in Spanish and in English by other students learning English at John McDonough 35. And so it is my honor and great privilege to present this award in recognition of Eldima's outstanding work and accomplishment. And the plaque reads, Reclaiming the Promise, Louisiana Federation of Teachers recognizes Aldeme Marin for her many accomplishments and successes as a student in New Orleans Public Schools. We wish you a dynamic and exciting career as an active citizen in our society, dated November 23rd, 2014. First of all, I want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to be here with you this afternoon. I do not know the teachers in this room, but I know fellow members of the teachers union, Mr. Cash, Mr. Randalls, and Ms. Keelan. And even before I met Mr. Cash and Mr. Randalls, they have already been in my country and had been sent by your organization to say that the way teachers were treated in my country was unfair and inhumane. For they, were being, for they were being killed because they were standing up for justice. When these teachers from New Orleans heard that their major and president of the city majors university were saying, we can help you get rid of the teachers union in your country and privatize public education, my teachers went to Honduras and said, we as teachers in New Orleans want to give you a different message, one of solidarity supporting the fight for justice. That is why I'm very thankful to receive this recognition for such an, for such an organization that will send teachers on their Thanksgiving holiday to give a message of hope and solidarity to the teachers in my country. When I met and got to know these teachers better and fellow teachers at McDonald 35, even though I was speaking in another language, I felt, I felt very much at home because what I was taught in my school is to have pride in my African ancestry. So in addition of being Honduran, I am also Garifuna. I am a descendant of, from people who were brought here to be slaves. They revolted, fought for freedom and justice, lived independently, and kept their separate language and culture. And so English is my third language. I also want to speak. <laughs> I also want to speak to you as a teenager from Honduras. As you know, the President Obama and many other people are discussing what they should do with the people who come to this country. My fellow, Hon my fellow Americans, we are and always will be a nation of immigrants, said the President a few days ago while advocating for the rights of immigrants on this country. And I hope and pray that all of you in the room will continue to fight for the rights of people who come here, particularly people like my ancestors and fellow Honduran who are enduring the worst of what humanity can do to us. But I am willing to contribute to the best of humanity. That is why I'm here to speak for those who aren't allowed to speak because of their status. And it is in that spirit that I have begun working 
with my fellow ESL classmates in school to tell their, tr their truths and to come out of the shadows. We will be publishing a book with our stories because we believe that no one should speak for us, just like you as teachers believe that no one else should speak for you. That is also why I'm very thankful with this labor union that fights for, the, for all the teachers' voices to be heard. And by doing so, this union also contributes for the voices of students to be heard. In my students at the center classes, I have learned to value the voice of everybody who is part of my class. So if you will visit my classroom, you will hear us talk about Virginia Woolf, Renee Descartes, and James Valvin. But you will also hear the voice of my classmates, Nick, Tiana, and Joshua. <laughs> we all come out of the shadows in SAC. For our teachers believe that our voices should be heard. For our voices only claim what we deserve in life. And it is because of that belief that I look forward to work with you in the future to make sure that we have a good quality of life for everyone. It is my honor and privilege to receive this award from the Louisiana Federation of Teachers, an honor because I never imagined that such an organization would recognize my effort, and a privilege because it comes from this labor union that has, is, and will continue defending. It is definitely a true it is definitely true that the people who are doing the work are the ones who should be making the decisions and telling their stories. I, as a student at McDonald 35 High School, believe that the people I want setting education policies and deciding what I should be taught in schools are the teachers. And I know that this is what your organization stands for. That is another reason why I am grateful to receive this award from the labor union that fights for working people to be in charge of their workplaces. Thank you in solidarity, and God bless the teachers' labor union. And to show how smart Larry is, he made a decision, a somewhat arbitrary decision, to suggest that I take the mic now. Because <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing that. Yeah, but OK, I'm taking the mic. Uh, we're on uh, item five of the agenda. And it, my, my voice is, I'm just blown away by this speech. But anyway, I'm, item five, which is the uh, presentation of legislative awards. While Mary Patricia Ray heads up here, she's our legislative director, our political director, does a hell of a job, as we say, in a, in a session. We've been doing this now for a number of years, attempting to recognize as many of our great legislators as we can. And we always have a kind of a surprise gift. We got away from some of the more traditional things. And I won't say any more. Mary Patricia. Thank you. Well, this is definitely one of my favorite days of the year because I spend several months of the year. Adele, me? is she still here? Okay, stand up for a second, sweetheart. This is why we do what we do. This is why we do what we do. That daughter of immigrants coming out of the shadows. We do this because we want to help every single child succeed. This is why we do what we do. 